Hello YouTube, my name is Trey, welcome to What Can I Change? Today we're going to be going over an autistic child that um, got into a little bit of beef with the police in the UK, okay? If you like or want to subscribe, please do after watching this video if you enjoy it. That's cool. If you don't want to, hey, it is what it is. If you want to help donate to keep the production of this set going up and keep me with my beautiful cups, I didn't, that's not meant to be in the shot. Can you move out please? Thank you. If y'all want to donate, you know, everything goes back to the production of the set. There's the cash app. All right, goodbye. All right, so let's get into this video. So one of the reasons I didn't cover this um, a while back, I've seen this story a, a couple of times because I went and looked into it, as y'all always know I do. This individual, this story happened back in 2021 from what I could see. I went and looked at the actual story. And if the stories are the same, which was an autistic child getting arrested by the UK um, for calling one of the police officers that's a lesbian, pretty much. That is what happened. And this happened two years ago. So I didn't cover it because I didn't think it was that important. But it keeps showing up on my timeline. So if things keep showing up on my timeline, I got to say something. So let's go ahead and read. This is what police do when dealing with autistic children. My daughter told me the police officer looked like um, her Nana, who is a lesbian. The officer obviously took it the wrong way and said it was homophobic. Comment, it wasn't. The officer then entered my home and assaulted me. My daughter was having a panic attacks from being touched by them, and they continued to manhandle her. So, enjoy the video. I believe it's good. You've made a comment in her own house. You've got her on camera. She hasn't said anything to you. It doesn't matter. She's never got cameras on. She's getting arrested. She's getting arrested. She's getting arrested. She's getting arrested. Why are you doing this? coming. Don't worry. She hasn't done anything. She's autistic. I don't care. She's autistic. She's autistic. I'm telling you, I've got Eunice coming. She's going to be arrested tonight. I'm waiting until you say she's coming. I'm like, fucking bitch. What if I get put in the cell? That's why we've got her on the first place. You fucking bitch. What if I get put in the cell? Calm down. She's autistic. Can you stop staring at her, please? She's got autism can you just stand there she's in a cupboard she can't go anywhere she can't go anywhere stand there dear they're gonna remove her for what for your your woman think she said the word lesbian her nana is a lesbian she's married to a woman she's not on the phone look what you're clenching your fist go away from my teenage daughter what is up with you right there is something wrong with you mate she didn't aim it at the police officer it's not a homophobic remark she said i think she's a lesbian like, like Nana. See, if you want to bully people, okay, you'll just, you'll just get one of them badges there. That's what you do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Where'd he go? Where's this? Does it go to my there? She's uh, autistic. She doesn't no, like people ducking her. Well, she will have a meltdown. She won't come out. She's got autism. I'm yeah. Lisa. Her, so she can come out. Because we're trying not to do this, aren't we? We've been trying for a long time. But she hasn't done nothing wrong. That officer out there has assaulted me for no reason. Way. She's got autism. She's autistic, man. This sure is if an officer decides to arrest her. They won't. She won't be arrested. No, they brought her up. She 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 no, but she was going upstairs and she made a comment to me and that officer ran in my house and assaulted me and tried to get to my daughter for no. If you want to make a complaint about any of it, that's fine. I am all, going all the to. Will, will have been on. I am going and to. Yeah, because it, it is on and she has. She, she, she was full of rage and she ran in the house and she barged me into this car. Okay, so as you can see here, I'll explain to them she has severe scoliosis. So when they go ahead and touch her, um, she has severe. When they try to raise up on her shoulders, it hurts her shoulder. And that that's what's being said here. I'm never, I'm, I am no people with scoliosis, everybody's different, but hers happens to be um, a little severe, so anytime they lift up on her, it hurts her shoulders. And so this is, and see, I went to go follow this individual, and that's how I found out this video actually came out a couple years ago. As, as y'all know, I'm nosy. So, appreciate it, Paper Cut, um, Paper Cut uh, YT, which I assume is YouTube. Appreciate you. So I want to say this. So, the reason I did not want to cover this story is because I wanted to get the benefit of the doubt that not this individual story, but the UK has done something different. I've looked into it. Apparently, nothing much has changed. 
So let's talk about this story at hand. And if you are from that area and know the law better than me, <clears throat> let me know or just comment down below so other people know just in case I never see it. OK, so. This cop, man, was so hurt from being called a being called pretty much a lesbian that she went after this autistic child and they you were arresting her because you can't say those kind of remarks over there. I'm assuming this is the UK. Am I right about that? If I'm not, sorry about that. And people are having the argument that people are the this group has so much power that they can do what they ever they want to anybody who goes against them, even somebody who is severely autistic, somebody who is far far further on the spectrum, right? Um, but I got I gotta agree. Listen. This is how I feel about this group. I've said it before and I'll keep saying it again and again. This group has had way too much power to where they can do whatever they want. Whatever they want. If I call a person a lesbian, it shouldn't be a homophobic remark. If I say you look like a lesbian, especially if I was saying it not out of hurt, but the individual was saying that you look like my grandma who happens to be a lesbian. My grandma happens to have the same haircut as you. Is it that big a deal? Is it enough to get arrested over? Is it enough to go through all of this? And sometimes what happens with some police officers, and I can only really speak for America. I don't know how it is over there, but over here, what we see a lot of, maybe not a lot of, but what we see sometimes is these cops, they get power hungry. Once they get into a conflict and they they know they have somewhat of authority and they know they can arrest the girl they just they just they just overdo it with all this power they got they feel like they can't go back it's rare that you ever find a cop that's like you know what it ain't worth it it ain't worth it let's let's just recoup and we'll, we'll talk about it tomorrow instead of calling it a big scene right now here today we got to do all of this obviously if it's a dangerous situation obviously it's a different situation but we're talking about something like this it's like but these cops sometimes they just get so power hungry they're like we're gonna do whatever we want because you offended me or you did this to me we see it all the time with uh traffic of course we only see the bad cop stuff we don't see good cops doing good stuff people don't tend to film that for some reason but we see cops pull people over and they lose their temper. They lose their cool. They lose everything. Because is there something about when you have an authority over somebody that it makes you snap and somebody doesn't want to listen? And I understand that. I get that. I've been in an authority position for a while. But at the same time, you got to learn to be like, you know what? It's just got to let cooler heads prevail. I, I got to do better than this. I got to do more than this, you know? And so I think the cops is what the cops should have done, but it should never get to the point where the LGBT has laws like this. People are against what Uganda does, but they're for laws like this. I don't get it. Nobody should ha the LGBT, the whole group, the homo stuff shouldn't have this much power to where they can almost dang near walk around untouchable, untouchable. And to also say this, that they're the only oppressed group ever, even though I don't see them as oppressed at all. It's always like they feel like they're the only ones who deal with any kind of, of mental illness. They're the only people who deal with depression. They're the only person who ever get bullied. They're, they're the only people who ever get talked about on the Internet. They're the, only, they're the only people who deal with life problems, but we all do. And that's where I always started drawing the line when I said these people have too much power because they make their problems bigger than our problems just because they happen to have the same problems we do, but they're also gay. You know, same thing. I mean, I'm saying this from a black guy. I'm a black guy. I'm sure I hear it all the time in my community. Oh, I have the same problems you do, but mine are different because I, I'm depressed, but I'm also black. So what's that got to do with anything? Depressed is depressed. Sad is sad. Dealing with mental health issues, dealing with mental health issues. It doesn't have nothing to do. It's not different because I'm black and you're not black. And that's what we have been doing. So pretty much if you're if you're not gay, you, you don't know the struggle. If you're not black, you don't know the struggle. Pretty much the only way you know the struggle, everybody knows the struggle except for who? Straight white men. All right? Straight white men are the only people on the planet who know the difference. It's, it's crazy, man. And I'm just tired of always having to watch this kind of stuff. I'm tired of seeing the LGBT win. I'm just done with the whole group. I really hope they just disband and disappear. Not the people. The ideology that they can run the world. They've had a run of the world for the last decade. It's time for them to get gone. And we got to keep standing up for this kind of stuff. So that's really my feelings on it. Um, that's what happened with the UK, man. Um, it's obviously just a bad thing, man. If they have that much power, that they can do whatever they want to children and autistic children. It doesn't matter. So let me know what y'all think. I'm out.